Alright guys, this is my rosacea experience. Um, this is where I have it. When I'm ill or when I'm stressed, I flare up like crazy. And I get this kind of like patch there. And I get it on the sides of my nose and I get always a little red dot there. Always. Uh, I have it on this side obviously. I get it on my arms, which is weird. Just from little patches of red. Um, it's, it's hard to deal with really in terms of wanting to do makeup as a career because you've always got to have that covered because it's not the like the ideal perfection. Um, it's been tough, but over the years I've learned how to cover it up and how to deal with it and how to make it cool down if it's having a flare up. So yeah, I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on how to cover it up. I'll do another video on how I deal with in general, like why I eat if it's going mental or. And there was a point where I had literally blotches that were literally pillar box red all over my face, not just my usual areas. I didn't know what to do, I didn't know what, I was, what was causing it. Um, so I'll do a video on that kind of stuff and how I deal with that and what I've learned from my experience and hopefully share some stuff with you. Uh, enjoy the video and like and subscribe for more. Alright guys, um, the first thing I'm going to do is get my Stargazer Paint Pro Stick in Light Flesh and we're going to use that as the base for the foundation. We're using this because it's high coverage and the texture is flawless and it's one of the best things in my beauty box right now. Uh, I absolutely love it and I couldn't recommend it any higher for anyone who's got rosacea. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our Rimmel London Match Perfection Foundation in light ivory and we're going to put that on the skin with a foundation brush. Um, I do it softly as to avoid smudging the base and then after I've done that I pat it down with a sponge to remove any shine or excess product from my skin. Now what we're going to do is going to take our Beauty UK bronzing powder and mine's quite dark because this is for the under jawline shading. I do this because I've got quite a soft jawline and I want it to be more cut and defined and this is where bronzing powder comes helpful. And now I'm going to use my Benefit Erase Paste to cover up any under eye circles or darkness around my eye area. This is a great cover up just because it's flawless and I love the texture and colour it gives. And now I'll be going to using CC UK's compact powder in number 2, Tender to Touch. Uh, we're going to gently pat this on the face and I really love this product because it's lightweight and it's good colour and most importantly it's inexpensive considering how good the product is. Uh, I would rate this 10 out of 10 product and I definitely recommend it. So I've been suffering with Asia for a few years now. Uh, I think about it when I started... I don't know, growing. <laughs> um, like I was 12 or 13 and I found this horrible blushes all over my cheeks and my skin sometimes and it's getting worse over the years but I'm learning how to deal with it and how to cover it up. So I'm going to share with you guys my tips and tricks on how to cover up rosacea. And I hope you found it useful. Like and subscribe for more and I hope you have a lovely day.